guys. Good afternoon. How are you? Crafty Chef Diamond here. Welcome to my crafting kitchen. So um, I just want to um, come on here real quick um, and do a little chit chat first and um, let you know a couple of things that are um, going on with me. But I want to welcome some new subscribers to the channel in no particular order. Um, some people flew away. Some people didn't. I don't know. YouTube has had some issues uh, the last couple of days. So uh, this is what I have so far. If you're public or if you've left me a, a message, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick little shout out. Um, so we have Pam Sum, um, Pam Goodbread, uh, Katie's Art, uh, Rose Smith, Blessed One, January 253. And I know she's made comments uh, before and uh, I apologize for not mentioning you earlier. Uh, you've been following all of us on this um, landscape edition, Paint Along with Friends. Uh, Sparky7776 and Marsha5930. So um, I just wanted to come on here real quick and then I want to show you guys something. I'm going to drop you down below. Um, I'm going to do a, a quick little post review. But everybody knows that I'm on the Diamond Painting with Friends right now, Landscape Edition. Um, so I have actually had to stop working on my landscape right now. And that's one reason. It's a, the landscape is like, it's an advanced canvas. So um, you really have to watch what you're doing. I commend some of these people that are doing whip and chats and working on the canvas at the same time. I am that, not that coordinated um, to do that. I try. Um, especially I'll try to do all the confetti first and then leave a little bit of a section so I can talk and um, place diamonds at the same time. But it's it's really difficult right now for me and it's kind of funny. Let me show you this. This is the only reason I just want to let you guys know. Um, I go to the eye doctor on the 27th. Um, never let your contacts go down to the last pair and think you're going to be okay because you're not. I When I was on vacation, um, I had my contacts got destroyed. And then I came home, made an eye appointment, and it's like, well, we can only get you in on these dates. And I was like, oh, no. So it has been trial and error for me. You're not going to believe this. So watch this, okay? All right. So right now, I have contacts on because I have to put the contacts on in order to put my makeup on, okay? And then I can see pretty good with these on because they're, they're bifocals. So then from there... Um, I'll start getting bad headaches because my vision is going up and down, up and down. So then I will transfer over to these glasses and I can see pretty good and I can drive with these on. Okay, so I have not been driving right now. I did have to take my dogs to the vet, but oh my goodness, I was so nervous about that. Okay, so then from there, I take these off and if I'm going to try to diamond paint, then these go on. Then these go on. Oh, let me get it straight. Then these go on. And then I have a magnifying glass. I can't diamond paint the Golden Valley like this, you guys. It's too hard. But I have been able, let me take all my glasses off here. Um, I have been able to um, work on smaller projects that doesn't require a lot of tech. Uh, difficult technique for that golden valley because it just it's tedious and there's a lot of confetti and i just can't i can't do it right now so um i will have to start working on the golden valley after the 27th okay i just you know it is what it is with the eyes and not only that i sleep with these glasses on these bigger ones just because I'm kind of blind right now and if something happens in the middle of the night or something happens with my dogs because they sleep with me, uh, I want to make sure that I can see and I'm not fishing for my glasses. So I just wanted to come on and show that to you guys and uh, I do apologize and I hope, um, you know, when I go to the eye doctor, they will give me a separate, uh, some loaner, some sample contacts until the other prescription comes in. So I just wanted to share that with you guys right now that uh, I I just can't do that tedious work right now. And it, it needs a lot of concentration and I want my lines to be straight. And when I tried working on it and then I get bad headaches and then I have to lay down because my vision and my, um, what is it? My, um, 
my balance is not good right now until I get my vision fixed. So, uh, so right now I'm just working on little small pot projects until the 27th. So I'm going to drop you guys down below. And not only that, I just, um, I don't, a lot of you, uh, that follow me, um, real men craft too, um, lost his sister and he's had a really rough go with the last 24 hours. And I also lost two family members within a month and it's, uh, my heart goes out to you, Richard. Um, I am having coffee in California for you today. And also, um, this is for you. And I just want to pause and take a moment for you, Richard, um, for your, your sister. And it's just, uh, it's hard, the, you know, the Lord has a reason why he calls people home and sometimes we don't understand. And um, yeah, it's just, it's hard. So Richard, this is for you. This is my Disney um, candle lit for you, your sister and your family. And I'm just going to take just a quick pause for you. Okay, and I hope everybody goes and visits um, Richard and, and listen to a story. So, um, all right, just a quick pause. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Richard, you are in my heart. Love you. And uh, if you need anything, um, I'm not really good with comments. I try, and it, it's hard um, trying to say your condolences, but my heart is with you, and um, we're here for you. We're definitely here for you. He did reach out to me this morning to say that he's in for the Disney. Um, take all the time that you need. Even anybody that has who's joined the Disney paint with friends and... Um, there's no, you don't have to start on um, July 1st. Just whenever you would like to and just share your progress with everybody. Okay, so, um, and I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so um, with all my 10 eyeballs, I'm going to drop you guys below and um, share some stuff that I've been able to do in the last couple of days. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you down below. Okay, you guys, welcome, welcome back. So, um, like I said, uh, because of my vision has been kind of wonky, um, I've had to work on some small projects and rounds seem to work out pretty good for me. So, um, I purchased quite a few things from Timu because I, in the past, um, I wanted to start a treasure, treasure chest for the children at school and I needed to start working on it. So I thought, well, if I can't work on the Golden Valley right now, um, I'll work on some smaller projects and uh, and they went pretty fast. So um, yeah, I want to show those to you. So I have a magnet hamburger. Isn't that cute? Um, actually, this is going to go to on my refrigerator um, either at work or at home. I thought that was really cute. Um, there was only one, two, three, three colors, you know, and it's nice and thick. Yeah. So this is from Timu. Um, and then I purchased some stickers. And I really enjoyed putting these together. It was fun and it was easy. Uh, I love all the colors. I still have to seal all of this and I have to wait until I get my contacts on so I can seal these because um, I want to make sure since they are stickers you have to be really careful uh, to make sure that that uh, sealant doesn't get on the sticker lines. So, um, yeah, I really like these. Um, and then here's for the children. These are Super Dino stickers. And I had I just had a little blast doing that. The colors were amazing. I really enjoyed it. And then here's the other set. It's kind of fun. Um... I don't normally save my diamonds. The first, I think this one here, I trashed the diamonds and then I thought, oh no, some people show how much leftovers there are. So 
There you go. These are all leftover diamonds. I just threw them back in here and then I'm gonna dispose of them. Um, I only save my diamonds from previ uh, premium companies. And then here's some other left. All of the all of the projects that I worked on, I had so much left over. Okay, um, I am doing these for the children. They are 20 by 20s. Isn't that cute? And I'm gonna get a little white frame and then this will go for a little girl when it's her birthday. Um, and then she can pick out of the treasure box. Uh, but this one here, the little kitties, it had 18 colors. It's a little pixelated, but for 20 by 20, you know, that's what's going to, it, it was fun to do. And uh, I enjoyed it. So, yeah. And I think this just took a couple of hours. Um, I don't multi-place. I do um, single placing and it just, it's good therapy. It really is. And then look at this one. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, another one, a 20 by 20. And um, I call this one the Big Eye Kitten and it had 22 colors. Yeah, so again, this was only a couple of hours. Um, now this one here is uh, the Happy Camper and it has 19 colors. It's a 20 by 30. It's quite pixelated, but I had fun doing it. And that's what it's all about, to, to have fun. This is something that's not going to get framed. Uh, I think it's kind of cute that the uh, the camper almost looks like a face to me. It's like it's winking. There's an, you know, the eye there, but that's a sign. Probably says welcome. Um, it's a window. And uh, then you have the door. And then you have your, they're barbecuing out there. And then you've got your flowers sitting up over here. So um, in the camera, it looks pretty good, but for me to look at it, it's, it's quite pixelated, but I, it was fun and that's what counts. It was really, really fun. And then I have this one here, uh, Ariel and her prints. I actually started this one before I went on vacation and um, I finished it up and, um, and this is with good eyes, okay? Uh, I tossed the, I tossed the diamonds or the crystals and I found out that I didn't do this area right here. So I went and grabbed some, I do save my crystals and I grabbed some in my stash and um, finished it up. You can't even tell. Um, but this was really enjoyable to do. Now I did notice with this and I can give you a close up. You see how there's marks right here? How they tried to stain the, the canvas with the blue first and then they would put the print on it. Um, so as it's being folded prior to you working on it, that's how it came in the bag. Uh, it took right there. You would see the crease. You see the, the marks. Yeah. Um, so be aware of that. Sometimes that happens and you can probably put, I could probably put some paint or something on there. Um, I haven't sealed these, but yeah, you can see the marks right in here. They actually looks like watermarks. Um, but this is not going to be framed or anything. It's just going to go in my portfolio. And it had eight colors. But it was fun to do. That's, you know, I really enjoyed doing it. And then the last one that I have, let me get these out of the way here. These were really cute. And these are little kitty paws and look at the crystal on there and that cute the children are going to love that and it's only it's one side yeah I started some of these before vacation and then I finished them when I came back and kind of just put them back in the little bag until I was ready to show uh, some of my um, post reviews on Timu product. You see so much of Timu being unbagged right now and uh, I wanted to make sure that I started working on uh, some of the projects. And I really, there it's a great go-to company for quick, easy um, projects to do. And I think these little, these little guys were the most expensive. They were like eight bucks. And it was well worth eight dollars because this is one, two, three, four, five, six different children with their birthdays, or if they're having a good day, um, that can earn these. Um, you know, if they're if they have good manners in the 
fellowship hall when it's time to have lunch. Okay, so then I've been practicing and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this with my vision. So just bear with me. This is not from Timu. This is some stationery that I picked up at the thrift shop that somebody maybe was having a wedding or an engagement and the printing was wrong and so they donated it to a thrift shop. And I was like, wow, that's perfect stationery to work on some of these uh, wax stamps that I have. And I have this right here. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. Okay. So this was a set that came with Timu, um, and you have to be careful with it. Um, and I, then I ordered some extra stamps, and they're right here. And my husband made me a wooden block. Um, then I have, you know, I use things out of my kitchen. So this is one of my souffle cups. I have ice in it. And then I, all of your wax comes in these little packages and you have to sort them all out okay so then I sorted some of them out and I they give you a little case it's like a starter kit and I did a video on it earlier um, when I very first uh, received the order so then I sorted some of those out and then I took the overflow and put them um, this is called a monkey dish and um, and I put overflows in them like there's four or five wax bits in here and different colors and different shapes. Some are flowers, some are hearts. Um, and then they send you this so you can um, mix it before you press it. Then you get a scissors and that is to pick up your wax pieces. Um, you have to be really careful and I'm gonna lift this up really quick because this comes with the set. You get a spoon and it is tarnished. I'll show you here. It is tarnished because I've used it. Um, I'm sure if you get a, a really good professional set, uh, the gold won't, won't come out of it. Then you also have to be careful. You see right here, there's a burn. Okay, so when you have your, your uh, tea candle lit, I just left it sitting here, not knowing that this was going to get extra hot and it melted right in there. So when you put your wax pieces in here, I'm gonna bring that right here so you can see it. You have to make sure that you're holding it, okay? Because if you let rest it down here, it's going to burn, okay? And melt your uh, base. So I did do a couple on my own and I will share those with you and then I'll try to do one uh, so you can see it. Again, excuse my vision because I might not get it centered right. Um, but this right here, it's a B. This is like a little mountain set. Uh, this is the same mountain set, but then I went to Michael's and I picked up some of these, uh, a gold and silver metallic pin, because you can decorate them. You see the gold on there? I put gold and silver on there so you can highlight the stamp. Um, and then I think I did it sideways. You have to get it centered just right. There was another, um, bumblebee that wasn't quite centered and then this one actually turned out really good the first one that I showed you and then I was playing around with the metallic pens and again there is another one of the bee but I did the the silver on it uh, this is a Christmas tree and another bee but I put gold on it okay so um and then I do have an envelope and we're going to, I'm just gonna give you a quick little demo. And I did watch some tutorials on YouTube. So basically, um, let's see which one I wanna do. Let's do this rose, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I have ice and it's in a plastic bag. And I'm going to just let this chill for just a minute. And this helps so your um, wax doesn't stick. Let's see, what kind of color do I wanna use? I'm going to go with, how about purple? Should we do purple? Now I'm going to go hot pink. So I'm going to put four of them in here, okay? And I didn't use the tweezers, I'm sorry, I'm just using my fingers. 
some of these you can use three some you can use four it just it's all practice guys it's all practice okay so I have two let me move my camera here uh, so I have two flowers in there and two pegs so I'm just going to let it set right here I'm actually going to set it down I know I, it won't give it enough time to heat up and this was an old tea candle so um, I might have to turn it uh, uh, put a fresh one in there to see how hot it's going to get so we will just give it just a second here I hope everybody's doing well today um, I know this is going to be a different type of video but I just wanted to give this a try I've been working on it for a while and then I kind of just I had things happen in my personal life so it just was like thrown off for a little while so uh, I, I'm glad I have the opportunity today to be able to show you guys okay I see it's starting to melt let me get it down further um, some people just use a regular tea regular candle um, to melt and I could actually I have the one with Richard that I lit for him maybe I can oh no it's it's speeding up you see how it's melting yeah and just give it a minute and then you can take this and you can stir it a little bit Yeah. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Almost ready, guys. Almost. But I think these are pretty cool. I think these would be good to like put them on the um, inside of a card or if you're going to decorate something. Um, I don't know with the post office system, you know, they run them through these special machines and if it would reject the the mail, because I know um, a lot of people do um, stamp sealing for like uh, wedding invitations, birthday invitations. So, okay, it's almost melted. Almost there. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know how well it would go through the mail system um, with that so I guess if things are going to be hand delivered like on a birthday card or Christmas cards uh, I know when we go to church um, in the uh, in December um, we have uh, every everybody had there's a different buckets with your um, last names not last name the alphabet on there and then uh, if you're a through C, you put your greeting card in there and then people come and pick it up weekly. That time. Okay, the wax is ready. So let's see how this is going to work. All right, guys, just bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Should I zoom you guys in a little bit? And then I'll have to move up this way. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm not, the zoom in doesn't do well. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay. I kind of made a little circle right there. Now I'm going to pick up my press from the ice and I'm going to wipe it off on a towel. I have a towel right here. All right, and then we are going to press. I can tell right now it didn't seal properly, but that's okay. It just takes practice. And so I'm going to let it sit there for just a minute. And maybe sometimes you can fix it. Yeah, all right. Let me see if I can fix it. Nope, not going to work for me. But this is how you learn. Let me see if I can give an edge right there. I think a lot of it has to do with your wax as well, guys. This wax is okay, but it probably needs something that's going to melt a lot faster.
And also, if you make a mistake with these, you can just peel it back off. You can take one of these and peel it off and remelt it and use it. And that's how you can keep practicing. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna show this to you really quick. It's not perfect, but it gives you the idea. Okay, you can see where I, oops, sorry, I bumped you. You can see where I messed up a little bit there, but if I heat, if I heat this wick up a little bit, let me see if I can push it. There we go. Let's see if I can move it a little bit. Most likely I will peel it off of here and then I will um, probably re-stamp it. But there, there you go. And then you can take, oh, let's go with the, see if I wanted to paint the, the leaves and you can do that. And I don't have an X-Acto knife with me, but I would actually probably take the X-Acto knife. See how I highlighted it right there, guys? And just cut it right there. That little bit of edge that I put on there. See if I can pop it off. Yep, I can pop it off. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, can you see that? Yep. All right. So those were my, some of my items from Timu. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. And um, thank you guys for staying with me. And uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, hopefully in my next video, my eyes will be fixed. All right, guys. Chef Diamond is out. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. All right. Bye.